Welcome back everybody to another video and today I wanted to show you um, how to make um, short ribs. I'm sure you might all know how to make them but we're just going to make them a, a, a different way. Um, we're going to make them with noodles, egg noodles or no yolk noodles. This is the one that I use but it's your preference. You can use the egg noodles if you like. But this one, yeah, the cholesterol free, and it's low in fat, and it's low in sodium. It only has 15 milligrams of sodium in it. And I just wanted to show you all the ingredients. Before we get started, I do want to show you all the ingredients that we're going to use with the meat. So what I have here is the short ribs. And what I did was I marinated this, you know, for about maybe an hour or so. I marinated the meat in olive oil and all of these seasons right here. So that's what this is right here. And then what we're gonna do is, let me tell you the ingredients that I use first of all. This right here is basically a come around. This one right here is basically the main ingredient, okay? And this is called rib rack seasoning. It's a dry rub, okay? So we did this, we put this on here a dry rub but we got some olive oil in there we're making it is we want the meat to be just like it is as if you grill it you know we're it's gonna be like kind of falling off the bone okay that's what we want and this is smoked paprika okay and that's the organic one that I use showing you all the recipes here and of course you know I use this stash onion and herb we're gonna put some of that in there and Mrs. Dash lemon and er, lemon and pepper, lemon and pepper. And don't worry about the uh, measurements because I will post it up there for you guys. Okay. And then we're also going to use Bedilla. Uh, this is called Bedilla Com Complete. This is what it has. It has basically, you know, garlic flavor. It has it has everything that we're using too. All the herbs and stuff that we're going to use. It kind of it has that in there too. And then we're going to use our peppercorn medley, McCormick. Okay, we use that one. And then, oh, that's it for the sauce. That's it for the spices that we actually put in this bag to marinate the meat. Okay. But then, after that, we're going to we're going to braise it. We're going to braise the meat. And we're getting our pan hot now. We're braise, going to braise that. And then after that, when it's after we braise it, we're gonna add in all these fresh herbs, okay? Fresh herbs, onions, okay. First of all, mushrooms. We're gonna your your preference though. You know some people don't care for mushrooms, so you can omit them. You can leave them out. But I will post all the measurements up there, and I will post a recipe for you guys as well, as I have been doing in the past, okay? And then we're gonna have some carrots, fresh carrots, and um, basically chopped, chopped carrots to about that size right there, okay? And then we're gonna have some uh, yellow onion, okay? And I'll get those, don't worry about the measurements. But see, we're gonna put all, all this in there after we braise that meat. We're gonna use that same pan, you know, and add some more olive oil in there. That's why I have it sitting here because that's what we're going to do the meat in first of all with some flour and I'll do that with you just in a second here and then we're going to put in of course fresh garlic okay and this time um, I'm going to put in these are the spices that I created for this we're going to put in some fresh chives fresh chopped chives I kind of minced them you know they're already thin as it is and I minced them even more okay and then of course we're gonna have some fresh parsley okay we're gonna put that in there as well and guess what else we're having fresh one of my favorites okay rosemary ah the smell I kid you not the smell is so delicious it smells good when it's not even cooked after you clean it and start cutting your rosemary up, the aroma, voila, it's, it's immaculate, it's just great. 
And this time, I think I'm going to put in a little deal. And it's fresh. These are all fresh herbs that I'm using right here. And we're going to put in a little deal in there. We're just trying to weigh it out and balance it out, see how it comes out. And you remember last um, the last video I did, I showed you guys the, this herb that I use. Okay, we're going to use this again too. Now remember this herb, it has like most of these ingredients in it. Uh, let's put it that way. It has most of them in it. You know, like the parsley and all that. But it's a blend. You will love this blend. You can use it for a lot of dishes, which I have I have done. And like I said, it lasts for a month. It has a good, good, solid, you know, tight, concealed top, you know, that you can open and close, which is great. And it lasts a whole month. And if you look and you read it, this these Italian herbs are lightly dried. See, so they're moist already in there. And that's why they have that seal and top. And it lasts for a month. So this little bit that I have left, it looks like about a table, not even a tablespoon, like a teaspoon or something. I'm going to use that. And good thing I got some more, okay? So this is the one that lasts a whole month. And I've used it throughout all my videos and a lot of recipes, okay? So those are all the herbs. And then also in there, we're going to make it like a, we're going to put, it's going to be like a, a it's going to have its own sauce kind of a thing and you could put over noodles or you could even put it over but you know any other kind of pasta you can put that put this over there after we make it so but I'm going to use a tomato paste only a you know a couple of tablespoons of it but I get this particular one right here it's no salt added see because there's going to be a lot of salt going on which is like in here in this main ingredient right here there's a lot of salt in there so we you know you don't really it's up to you you can actually put the salt in with the flour and some pepper if you like but uh, these are so seasoned up I don't think it's going to need anything just to just dump them and put them in the flour that's what I would do so don't worry about the measurements I'm just going to throw a little some flour in there I think that's about a cup that I threw in there okay and then we're just going to put the meat in there and there is another thing too it, this will kind of be this will be after we braise the meat I'm going to use actually a broth and the broth that I'm using is organic bone broth beef it's gluten free and it's fat free and it's just it, this is this is perfect this is great see so but remember now it, I, but it has salt in it. See, so that's the thing. I'm pretty sure. Let's see how much. It has a whole lot of salt in it. See, see what I'm saying? So that's why we don't have any salt out here. Because I know that this is, has a lot of salt. So everything we want to weigh out. So I'm not going to just put a, a whole lot of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine it and mix it. I'm going to put water too. But I have this measuring cup. And I'm thinking... You know, I'll do maybe two and a half cups of water and then, you know, maybe another two of this. We'll combine it up. We'll mix it up and see. We'll just kind of see, kind of play by ear like that. So really, what we should do now is go ahead and heat our skillet. And you want to use a, a stainless steel skillet type of skillet because you do kind of want the, the little bits and pieces after you brown brown your meat to kind of like stick in that pan and just kind of gather it up you know so we can make our you know so we can put this in there you know so we can put this in there and make it like a like a roux you know kind of a thing so this is going we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to put the meat in but let's get the meat inside the flour because after after you do this let's see what we could use just one second here oh yes oh. okay 
it's way over here. Oh, no, that's okay. We'll just use a fork. I was trying to get. There we go. We'll just use a fork. I was trying to find the tongs. They're over there somewhere. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and put the meat in there. Yeah, this has been marinating quite a while with those seasonings on it. And see that main one right there. So that basically is going to do something there. You know, we want the flavor. You know, we, and we want to taste. We want to taste all of our herbs. We want to taste all of that. I just can't believe how it smells all the... And it's not that nothing's cooked yet. <laughs> and it's old. It's got the, the herbs and they smell so good. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And just put it in a Ziploc bag. It doesn't have to be this bag. I would say, um, you know, you're using like one and a half pounds to two pounds. Well, I have about two pounds right here. Of the short ribs and you can use I haven't tried it with the beef but um, pork this is pork these are the pork ribs okay so that's all you do shake it up like that and get your skillet ready okay and then when you go put your skillet in there put in you know enough olive oil I want to say more than two tablespoons because I have like two pounds of the meat so if you're doing a half of a pound and put only maybe two two tablespoons or maybe three two and a half something like that but this is how it's going in there and see just roll your olive oil in there and get your pan hot so you put your meat in and then we actually could just shake it in there you kind of, you know, take off some of the flour there. See, like this. Okay, and you're going to do brown both sides. So these these are pork loin short ribs. So they the bone is just straight across like this. So, but you're going to brown it on both sides. Not long though. Maybe for about four or five minutes or so you know for it to brown because you're going to take the meat out you're going to take the meat out of the pan and then we're going to do our onions and our mushrooms and our carrots okay but in the meantime you know this is you know this takes about maybe you to cook you know 45 minutes to hour you know, because you want the meat to be completely done. Okay, let's get too much flour on it. Just shake it out. Okay, it's going, guys. So what we're going to do, I'll move, remove all this, and we'll switch out. I guess I better show you guys what it, what it looks like here. Well, it doesn't look like anything yet because it's still going. Okay, that's, I hadn't turned it over yet. Not yet. We want it to get going completely here. It's going. Okay, so. Now, meanwhile, let's, let's just get this ready to see how we're going to do this. I'm going to shake it up. And like I said, I, I, this has a lot of salt in it. In fact, it's, oh, that's a lot. It's 700 milligrams. Okay. Now you see why I don't have salt out here? <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, that's trying to brown there. It's going. I'll show you in a minute when we turn it over. Maybe about, that's why I said four minutes or so, five minutes. So I'm talking maybe that on each side. Okay, but let's see what we're going to do for this. Okay, I, I'm assuming here. And then water. 
we could go there, but we could just add some here. Oh, this is the one. I do use bottled water, you know, uh, cook with bottled water. So I'm just, so if, now that you guys know that there's 700 milligrams of salt in there, uh, okay, let's see. You know, it's okay. The, the two cup thing would probably be a good start. No, that would probably be a good start right there. The two cups. And then what I'll do is add in, I get, like I said, another two cups. Or well, one, two, let's just see what it goes to. Let's put three cups. Oh, a little more than three cups. So we'll do that to the four. See? And it just works perfect. Okay? Yeah, let's do that. That will work. Now let's check on them. Let's see what they're doing. The brownie. Pretty good. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. Turn this one over. Okay, turn them all over. Then get this side. Yeah, that's kind of what you want. The golden kind of brown. And if you think it needs a little more olive oil, go ahead and put some more in there. That's so far. See, that doesn't look real too brown to you, but that's why you just kind of keep going with it a little bit more. I think we'll add a little bit more olive oil. We'll add a little bit more in there because this is this is two pounds. This is not like it's one and a half. Yeah. Now it's doing something. Okay. So I can move this all out the way. What I'm going to do is when we come back. It should be brown by the time we come back. And then we're going to go ahead in, in that same pan and do our vegetables, our, our vegetables, our onions, and our herbs, and our everything else. And not this doesn't even go yet. Of course, this goes with the tomato paste goes with the broth, okay? That's how we're going to make that with our roux. So I think I showed you guys everything. So let me just switch out and let that brown and when we come back so stay tuned we'll be right back <laughs> 